Hello everyone, I'm your host Roman Garcia from NerdSport and welcome to Creating a Culture of Innovation. We're here to highlight up and coming and growing businesses that want to show off their culture and what makes them stand out with technology. Our goal is to educate our audience about having a strong IT and cybersecurity infrastructure and showing how other businesses are leveraging technology in order to succeed. Nerd Support is an award-winning managed service provider that's been helping businesses in the US and around the world with managed IT, consulting, and cloud solutions for almost 20 years. If you found what we talked about in today's episode valuable and are looking to advance your business's technology strategy, we can offer you a free IT consultation where we examine your technology, cybersecurity, and compliance so that we can take care of your IT and you can focus on the growth of your business. If you would like to be a guest on our podcast, you can apply at cacoi.nerdsupport.com slash podcast. And to learn how NerdSupport can help you succeed with technology, visit us at nerdsupport.com. All right, enjoy the show. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Creating a Culture of Innovation podcast. As usual, I'm your host, Roman Garcia, and I'm joined today by yet another business leader who's cultivating a culture of innovation within her business, Jackie Meyer. Jackie is the founder of her CPA, Meyer Tax Consulting, as well as Tax Plan IQ, which is a software as a service or SaaS app, allowing tax firms to quote, implement, and follow up with clients to develop efficient tax strategies. So making your own technology, love to see it, love to see it. So thanks for coming on, Jackie. Welcome to the show and how are you doing today? Thank you so much, Roman. I'm doing great. I took a break from a thought leader symposium to do this. So my brain's a little mushy. Plus it's the middle of tax busy season, but I think I'm going to pull through. Okay. Okay. That's, that's great. I'm glad you could take a second to to chat with me here. So great. Great to have you, Jackie. I just had, if you didn't know, I just had another accounting specialist on here at last episode. So I'm curious to hear your own take on innovation. So let's get right into it. Okay. All right. So Jackie, tell me and the audience a little bit about your business's mission statement. What does Meyer Tax Consulting or Tax Plan IQ do for businesses around you to help them succeed? We are bringing the best tax strategies in the world to our clients, whether it's our CPA firm clientele, which is less than 100 high net worth individuals with family offices, or it might be accounting firm owners where we have, you know, Uh, hundreds that we've coached or um, brought to the Tax Plan IQ software platform and thousands more that I influence on a day-to-day basis. Okay. Okay. And uh, would you be able to explain a little bit how you were telling me earlier about uh, the Tax Plan IQ and uh, where that plays in? Yeah, sure. So during the pandemic, I decided to become a SaaS software developer. Uh, Gosh, it's a crazy ride. Um, but it's really fun. So uh, I noticed a big gap in our industry in regards to tax planning softwares out there. And our software doesn't just do like tax projections. So it's not just telling you, hey, you're going to owe 100 grand next year. Mm -hmm. It's actually walking through an entire like quoting and implementation system for accountants to show and visualize to their clients the ROI that they can receive in tax planning. And so it's utilizing my trademarked ROI method, which is pretty Mm -hmm. fun. Nice. Okay. So kind of like simplifying the process and making it more digestible for, for businesses, just so they don't have to see all these numbers and like, okay, but what does it mean? Exactly. Yeah. The ROI method is super simple. It's all revolves around value pricing to the clients. So, you know, we can save you a hundred grand in taxes. You pay us 15, 20 grand. Yeah. That might be, you know, four or five times more than what you pay another accountant, but we're also going to get you that bigger ROI. And so it's really just win-win. All right, cool. Great to see that you're that you've expanded your horizons and you're kind of reaching into that innovation space. So moving on, uh, I guess this is more so for your C- actual CPA. That what made you want to start your business, and did you have any inspirational figures in your life that led to that? I actually had a bit of a lack of inspirational figures that led to me starting my own firm. But since then, I've had a lot come into my life. I have a business coach, Chuck Bauer, that's amazing. Um, I have a C12 leader, which is kind of Christian business leader, Joe Peterson. That's awesome. Um, I have all kinds of people that I, that I look up to now that kind of mentor me. But uh, I had a lack of that growing up. 
And so I was always kind of pushing the boundaries when it came to career choices. I pushed the boundaries way too much in the last CPA firm that I worked in, and I ended up getting fired. Um, and so that's yeah. how uh, Meyer Tax, the concierge CPA firm came about. I told my wow. husband, I think I can do this better. And he's like, no, get a regular job. And so I started the firm anyways, and it took off. And he says he'll never question me again. So there you go. Well, there you go. Glad you were able to show them up and show big. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> glad to hear that you're able to find some success there. So going into some of the values that your business brings, what are some of the things your business values most in regards to serving your clients? And did any of this change during the pandemic last year? Oh, good question. So I don't know if our values change, but I think our values are always evolving. Every year we revisit with our team, you know, we have a team of a dozen or so, um, you know, our core values aligning with how we hire, fire and promote people internally. And so we had, we did that. We started, we implemented what's called the EOS system, entrepreneur operating system last year. And so it made the core values even more important, but yeah, so they've definitely evolved over the years, but they didn't change a whole lot. Um, I like to say that we lead by Jesus's example, you know, no matter what you believe in, um, or what your religion is, he was like the best leader of all time. And so if we can mimic like one, two hundredth of what Jesus did during his time on earth, then we're doing a great job. So that's what we try to do. All right. The treat others as you want to be treated that exactly. that's something, that's, something, yeah. that's something anyone can understand and follow. So yeah, good, good, um, good morals to live by. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Hard to live up to sometimes, but we try. <laughs> right, right. We, we try our best. Obviously, we're human. So uh, just got to lead by example. So, okay. So in terms of uh, building up your business, uh, whether it be my tax consulting or when you decide to take on tax plan IQ, were there any obstacles in, in the way of, of building it up and how did you overcome them? Well, I had no idea how to run a business when I started Meyer Tax. The good news is that once you understand accounting, you can pretty much get the rest of the business pulled together pretty well. And I kind of had a natural inclination to be a salesperson, which was odd okay. um, because I'm very introverted and I don't really enjoy. I wouldn't have caught that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I am. I actually am very introverted, but, um, you know, I, I'm passionate about what I do as an accountant. And so that kind of makes me seem like I'm extroverted. And so I bring a lot of passion to that sales process. And I think people can feel that. And that's why, you know, my, my CPA firm took off. And then now I'm a SaaS software developer and I have no idea how to do that either, but I just <laughs> constantly seek mentorship, education, you know, everything that I can get to grow every single day, you know, listening mm -hmm. to podcasts like yours, all that kind of stuff is what Appreciate helps it. me. Yeah. It's pretty funny how uh, nowadays uh, talk, being able to talk to people is like such a like superpower in a way, uh, I guess. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, I, I don't know. I'm so used to Zoom. I might as well just be with you in the same room. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, that we're, we're actually looking forward to doing some of this stuff in play, uh, in person now, uh, now that things are starting to calm down, hopefully cool. knock on knock on wood. But yeah, yeah we'll, we'll see what we can do. So all right, Jackie. So I want now I want to hear some of your domain expertise and what's going on in the CPA industry. What's going on that you think can be done a little bit better? And what are you guys doing differently to set yourselves apart from the rest? Oh, there's always something going on in the CPA industry. I mean, during the pandemic, we had PPP hit, we had EIDL loans, we had so many new opportunities to help our clients, and we were able to produce a lot of revenue that they were lacking during that time. So that was great. So unfortunately, a lot of people don't understand what tax planning is. And so I'm out there to try to get the word out that tax planning is not just about telling people what tax they owe. It's about actually mm -hmm. reducing that liability proactively. And so you have to get with your accountant early to plan ahead to do tax planning. You can't go to your accountant and try to, you know, save money on taxes last year. In most cases, there are some things like, you know, IRAs that you can contribute to in the following year. Investing, yeah. 
So I try to get the word out that tax planning is a whole nother animal that a lot of accountants are not well skilled at. And so you want to ask your accountant, you know, what, what's your favorite tax planning strategy? And if they talk about, uh, you know, if they have no answer, you're in trouble. If they talk about a 401k, eh, I mean, it's a strategy. It's not a great strategy, right. but it's a strategy, right? So it's super basic. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so I, I want to kind of get that education out for people to know that tax planning is a whole nother level of service that people will need if they're not just like a W-2 income earner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I, I myself uh, personally that uh, that my father was able to introduce me that he, he's familiar with a lot of accounting, that he was able to introduce me to the idea, like you were saying, of an IRA, but a, a Roth IRA. So uh -huh. starting to save early while I'm young, uh, that that, help, that helps me in the in the end with tax planning, actually. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool that uh, you guys are, are like it shows that you're not just interested in like doing the bare minimum, like just doing what your what your clients have, but also like showing them how to also reduce that stress in the process. So okay. <laughs> uh, also talking about your industry, what do you think are some misconceptions about the accounting industry that you think people should be aware of? And how are you trying to remedy that? Oh, gosh. I mean, I think it kind of goes back to the same thing I was talking about with like, what is the definition of tax planning mm -hmm. and standardizing that? I don't know if that's ever going to happen. Even our own organization, the AICPA, um, doesn't necessarily get the word out as much as they should about the difference between tax planning and tax preparation. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, I think it's important for people to know that accountants all specialize in different things in general. And so you want to make sure that, you know, the particular topic that you're bringing to the table is something they specialize in. So just ask, you know, if you're selling a business, have you ever helped sell a business before and see what they say? Or if you're looking at, um, you know, retirement options, have you ever mm -hmm. planned retirement for people before? Do you have a financial advisor you can connect us to, 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 to bridge them in? So you just want to be really specific with your questions to your accountant because we all specialize in different things. So then my final question for you, Jackie, is what's on the agenda for you and either of your businesses in the near future, if you can share any of that? Well, we are releasing a like tax planning masterclass, which I'm really excited about for accountants because there's not a whole lot of options out there for them to learn how to do tax planning and how to implement strategies. Mm -hmm. We have over 80 strategies in Tax Plan IQ. And so we're really excited about that. Um, we have some other master classes that are coming out just for accountants. Who knows, maybe someday I'll be a business coach in general, but right now I just love working with accountants. So sorry to the rest of you. Uh, I'm not available for that, but for accountants, we have a lot of cool options. Great to hear you're putting that out there. All right, Jackie. Well, you heard her. Go check out her uh, tax planning masterclass that she's going to have going out. I'll make sure to include that in our posting for this. And it was great talking to you. But before we go, of course, where can the audience find you? And do you have anything else to share with them? Yeah, so I host a Facebook group for accountants called Accounting Firm Influencers. And so I would love for any CPAs or EAs out there to join us. We have over 5,000 accountants that has grown organically over the last couple of years where we talk about you know current hot topics every single day. So please join that. And then you can always visit my speaking website, JackieMeyerCPA.com. Um, I'm going to be talking a lot more about leadership. Uh, I'm doing a doctorate program in leadership right now. And so I'll be doing a lot more speaking engagements uh, upcoming about leadership and some pretty cool stuff there. So would love to have you join me. Yeah, exciting. Definitely. I'll, I'll, and I'll make sure to include all that stuff uh, as, as well when we put this episode up so great and of course also give her a follow on social media as well i uh, gotta stay updated with all that coming up with uh meyer cpa so again jackie meyer from meyer tax consulting and tax plan iq everyone thank you so much for stopping by and thank you for cultivating a culture of innovation within your business so we'll see you next time all right thank you so bye. much bye hi roman here Thank you so much for listening to today's episode of Creating a Culture of Innovation. If you would like to be a guest on our podcast, you can apply at caCOI.nerdsupport.com slash podcast. Did you find what we talked about today valuable? Please give it a like and share it on social media. 
or if you know someone that would be a great guest, tag them and make sure to include the hashtag creating a culture of innovation. We'd love to bring on a diverse group of guests. Since we're regularly putting out new content, subscribe and make sure you don't miss any episodes. Your thumbs up, ratings, and reviews go a long way to help promote the show, and it'd mean a lot to me and my team. Want to learn more about nerd support and how we can help you succeed with technology? Visit our website at nerdsupport.com or follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at nerdsupport. Thanks for listening in, and we hope you'll stop by next time.